Preacher. Decide what's right or wrong. Mr. Malcolm, what do you think of Martin Luther King? I think that any black man who teaches black people to turn the other cheek and suffer peacefully after they've been turning the cheek and suffering peacefully for 400 years in a land of bondage under the most cruel, inhuman, and wicked slave master that any people have ever been under, he is doing those people an injustice and he's a traitor to his own people. Nobody should teach the black man in America to turn the other cheek unless someone is teaching the white man in America to turn the other cheek. And no one should advocate any peaceful suffering to black people unless a white man is going to practice the same kind of peaceful suffering. What Martin Luther King is doing is disarming the black people of America of their God-given right and of their natural right. And the law of nature gives a man the right to defend himself when he's attacked. And the God's law itself gives a man the right to defend himself when he's attacked. See, what people don't realize, they've used the same technique for years of trying to use fear to try to intimidate our people to get us away from the truth. So when you ain't doing nothing, nobody study you. As long as you're going to be a Christian, you're going to be a Protestant, you're going to be a Catholic, with all in the same belt, you find I mean, it's subliminal messages are working. So we've been trained to follow our master and follow our oppressors. We haven't been really given a mindset to break away from this crude master to start to establish our own way. Start to see that you become a self-thinker. You become independent in your ideals. How you try to establish and you want to try to make your own way, that's a threat to you. I'm trying to get our people to become conscious to the situation that we're suffering and we're struggling every day. Right here in what they call America. America has been cruel. America has been unjust, inhumane to us. America has lied to us and mistreated us. America done everything wrong under the sun. I don't know how anybody can stay loyal or say you found liberty here. The only thing you found is brainwashing. And you know what they're going to table this to get done, honestly? It's going to take us to vote by. Table that, though. Table that, I'm saying, because you got to wrap your mind around what I just told you. They ain't going to never do right with us now until these folks see we vow. See, these folks got to see, ain't no more talk. I just be honest now. Any sovereign nation that get invaded, by the United Nations, own rule regulation has a right to defend. Any sovereign, free people have a right to defend. If you step on these people's land, if you inflict any kind of damage to these people, they have a right to defend themselves. That's all I'm saying. How many times have these people kids out of home and murdered us? Burn our houses to the ground. How many times have our babies been kidnapped? How many times? If you want freedom, then you should get freedom like Patrick Henry said, by whatever method is necessary. If you are not willing to pay the price for freedom, you don't deserve freedom. They're keeping us in such a disarray in our homes and our marriages and our family, so we can't see the real problem. It's him. He know he's the problem. Ain't that right? Nobody want to say it to us. Everybody afraid of what he can do to you. Let me tell you something. If he wasn't scared of you, he'll come to you one man for every one of our men and fight us. When he come, he's gonna send 20, 30 of them and call. He's gonna put sirens and throw lights. So you think the purpose of it is to disorient you. I want y'all to think. All I want y'all to do, don't trust me, don't trust nobody. Be a free thing. Everybody gotta be watched. Everybody got to be watched.